Uh, really quick, World Series matchup has been announced. Uh, we both got half to pick, right? You you had the, you picked the Rays to go. I picked the the Dodgers to go. So you know when our forces combine, we got it right. You know, um, but I am you know, and I say this, I gotta go. With, I gotta go with Brooklyn in the series. So I'm going. I'm going with Dodgers. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I'm, I'm I'm going with the Dodgers as well. Um, I and I and I, I don't want this to come across as sound like a hater. It's it's not that. <laughs> no, no. Because it's hard to knock a team who makes it to the World Series. But I have not been impressed with the Rays at all, bro. I've got to be honest. Um, I thought I thought the Yankees let them off the hook in the mm-hmm. second round series. I thought Houston kind of let them off the hook. That series went seven, and I thought Houston actually outplayed the most of the series. But what Tampa was able to do was get the key defensive play in the big moments yeah. all series. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad Houston ways. got bumped though. I'm glad. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm glad Houston. I mean, bumped. listen, I, I, I've always been of the thinking of, I've said it before that I, to me personally, as someone who grew up playing the game of baseball and understanding the game of baseball, the cheating scandal was not as big as some people made it out to be. Granted, I'm not, I'm not saying that knowing what, what pitch coming doesn't help you. Yes. If I know a fastball is coming, I'm gonna get yeah, my yeah. bat through the zone a little faster. But you still gotta right? hit it. But you still got to make contact, and just because I know a fastball is coming, that doesn't even mean it's a strike. It could be a high yeah. fastball, and then what? Do I? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. But either way, we we moving on from Houston. Um, the Dodgers, I think, are just two stacked top to bottom. Mookie Betts is is looking like I I really think Mookie Betts has put himself in the discussion as the best player in, in all of baseball. And no disrespect to Mike Trout, but we have never seen Mike Trout do it on the biggest stage. Mookie Betts is in his second World Series. Yeah. So we've seen him do it on the biggest stage. And I'm not just talking offense. Those catches he made in the NLCS may have saved the Dodgers season. In game six and game seven. And no, and, and no may have. <laughs> right. They, they say, the, the catch he makes in game six yes. and game seven yes. more than likely saved the Dodgers season. Because those are momentum-saving catches as well. Right. Right. Those, those swing the game completely. And then you add in what he's been able to contribute offensively. Mookie Betts, in my opinion, is the best player in baseball. And when you have him batting in front of Seager and Bellinger, it's almost like, who do I even want to pitch to, bro? Because yeah, any Kike Hernandez, who, who came in yesterday as a pinch hitter, hits a bomb to tie the game. You know, they have power top to bottom. Uh, Walker Bueller is one of the top pitchers in all of baseball. Only way I can see the Rays winning this series, Rays are going to have to hit much better than they have in the last two rounds. There was a point in the Houston series that as a team, they were batting under 200. As a team, they were hitting under 200. So they're going to have to produce much more offense if they think they're going to beat the Dodgers. Yeah, no, listen, uh, you're absolutely right. And again, I'm going with, I'm going with Brooklyn. Smush Parker here, pull me up to Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned in to Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.